Amaze TV is here to restore, rebuild, revive the nation. We can never appreciate the hardship that creates a feeling of having nothing. But we can create the change that makes a difference. Join us and together we can have an impact. It's time for us to change the narrative and extend our humanity to the entire world. Love is kind, it is not self-seeking. Let us extend our love and kindness in the best possible way we can. Freely you have received the love of God. Freely give back to society. Extend a blessing to someone out there. One can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten thousand. We believe in our communities and we believe in our youths. Let's work together and make a difference. Our world needs you to be a part of a revolutionary change. United we stand, divided we fall. Give love, show love. Hashtag give love, show love. Good evening everybody, welcome to Give Love, Show Love. This is a, another live broadcast from Amaze TV to support our communities across the UK and across the world. I hope you'll join me for this session to look at some of the highlights that myself and the team have had over the last few months in putting give love, show love together. I'm joined this evening by some two of my closest colleagues and I hope that we're going to have a, an amazing conversation around what has gone on with give love, show love over the last few months. Richard and Unisa, welcome to the show. And I'm sure you've both got highlights that you're going to be able to share with our audience. But before we do, I just want to ask why Give Love, Show Love is still relevant now going into 2021. Richard. Yes, indeed. Um Dave, thanks a lot for this opportunity. Uh, I, I believe this opportunity that everybody is now seeing us all as a group, because normally, you know, each time there's different us, different people on the on the show. But anyway, uh, I believe give love, show love is so relevant because you can never outgive love, and you can never find a beginning or ending. It's always constant. Mm. So, uh, I, you know, I just hope and wish that this will continue going and going. It will have its branches. Because that's what love is. Love can never end and love can never, you know, can never cease. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's phenomenal how quickly the, the whole project has come together, has yes. grown. And that's, that's been because of the work that everyone has taken part. Yeah. But Unisa, for, for you, why, why is Give Love, Show Love so relevant? <coughs> well, I just want to say thank you for having me on the show. And it's a pleasure being on this platform with you guys. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> Sweet name. <laughs> oh, as I said, all of us in the in the, in the same I, show. <laughs> I, I actually just realised, and I don't I don't know whether the audience will have have noticed <laughs> either, but it's the first time since the launch. Yes. That we've all been back on yes. the set together, yes, isn't that it? That is yeah. so. I mean, it's, I'll, I'll come so back I'm to glad. that in a minute. But why is it relevant? Come on. Well. I'm a youth advocate, and Give Love, Show Love, what it stands for, what it does for the youth, mm -hmm. it's quite big to me. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand? And there are so many youths all over the world that are in need of the love that we portray, that yeah. we give. And we at Give Love, Show Love, we just don't talk about it. Yes. We actually dish out what we say. Mm -hmm. So being on this platform, being a part of this organization, it's an honor for me. Mm -hmm. So in every aspect of it, 
I'm quite grateful. So it means tremendously huge to me. Thank you for that. And I think first off, we can start to say thank you to everyone that's taken part in in the campaign, all of the contributors to shows, all of the support that's yes. come in. Yes. It's been a phenomenal response to something that's very quite unique. That we're not just saying, hey, let's donate some money into an organization and let's help community groups. Mm -hmm. We're actually putting more than just financial support in to organizations. There is the practical support, there's guidance, there's advice and such. But what are the highlights for you guys? What have you enjoyed most over the last few months? Wow. My mind, you know, as you were asking that question, my mind was just reflecting back. I mean, for me, it actually goes back to when we actually came together. Because all of us had a show on this station. And, you know, we used to see each other. So for me, the highlights actually begin of how the vision gave birth to it how we all came together, how we all united, came with that concept, listen, we guys can do this, we can achieve this, we can, uh, we can put something together that can impact the community. Mm -hmm. So that itself is, for, is, is like a self-belief. We have achieved it, and this is also to our viewers. There's a lot of viewers watching, there's a lot of youth watching. You may have a, something, you may have an idea or in within you. The key thing is that you just have to team up with the right people, mm -hmm don't be afraid of anything and go for it. Yeah. And this is, we're actually seeing the fruit of it. Us being together, uh, it's been now months and months since we've been on the show. Mm. So for me, it's just us coming together and believing in ourselves and achieving something that we thought of. Mm. Yeah. And that, that sense of achievement, mm. I think is something that a lot of the communities that we support yes. struggle to find, don't yes. they? From yeah. all of the conversations that, that we've had, um, do you do you think that you know, so when we look at the the way the community has embraced give love show love, that that sense of achievement is something that they're now starting to to benefit from? Absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely. I think that don't get me wrong. There are different charities out there. Mm -hmm. There are different organizations, but we at give love show love since something that was lacking. And we presented it to the community. That's right. And the community didn't know and knew that this was what was needed. So as I stated in the beginning, or as Richard stated, we came together, we had a vision, and it's due to the love that each of us have and had in us to support these communities mm. that brought us out. And the community see how hard we're striving to support them, mm. so they embrace us. So it's just a wonderful feeling. Mm. I think. For, for me, looking at what's been achieved yeah. is the sense that we haven't gone to the community as a whole, as a, as a faceless entity, mm. but we've looked at what are the components that the community are presenting, the, the, the factors within community, mm. and provided support to those individual areas. Mm. Some of the shows that, that you guys have hosted in the campaign, what, would, what, was, what are your highlights there? That's a tough one. You see what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, this, is, this is how conversations happen That's right. behind the scenes too. Okay. Someone asks a question and everybody goes yeah. into the middle. It's the love that we have. That's you right. understand? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. believe in in it yeah. so we are excited so please Richard yeah I mean we have to first also understand that we had a challenge of this COVID-19 the phase one now we are just ending the phase two so that itself prevented us from approaching the public mm. that itself uh, uh, affected us reaching out to various businesses but um, for me uh, most of the shows that are presented actually wrote it down some of them the launch was fantastic I really enjoyed that because, as I said in the beginning, that was like the birth of Give Love, Show Love. It meant so much to me. Um, we had a wonderful guest when we had the, the worshipful mayor of, the former mayor, worshipful mayor of Hackney that came on the show with Dr. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Nugos that came on the show. They really put, you know, 
uh, emphasis on the charity because they they came from a charitable background as well, mm. uh, caring for the elderly. So that was really crucial for them to come and support us. Mm. And uh, in case they're watching, and I know they're watching, thank you so much, uh, you know, Councillor Shade Bright, Dr. Elizabeth Nugos that came to support us. We also, my other highlights is the Faith and Solution where I had uh, Bishop Richard Dodge because you see most of the, as a chaplain, most of the guests that have been coming forth are to do with church related. Mm. So, so you find that God itself is love. So uh, I, f I felt that it's important to get the spiritual side of it mm. so that we can, you know, explore the give love, show love from the spiritual aspects of it. Mm. Uh, so those are some of the, as we, you know, we go on, I'll keep on sharing some of my favorites. But so far, those have been my two greatest, uh, you know, we also looked at fatherhood. <laughs> you know? and, and that's something that I wanted to come yes, and, and, yes. and pick up on later because it's one of my favorite shows yes, that, yes. that went out. But we'll come back to that. Mm. You know, so what about yourself? What were some of, the, some of your favorites? <laughs> <laughs> no, but <clears throat> all jokes. I love every single one of them. I cannot mm. say I can pick one. You know, I appreciate everyone that took their time to come into the studio or via Zoom. That's right. You know, mm. to be a part of it. Mm. So I appreciated each and every one of them, even though when the mayor tried to get in from Brent, mm. we were unable to you know, get him across, switching it. I know he's still trying to get on with us, yes. so it's just a matter. And also the Manchester mayor, yes. he's agreed as yes. well. That's right. But we stated that in January, but unfortunately, um, I have to reach out to him because James said January is going to be impossible. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I we're, appreciate we're way, everyone that ways. come on from Richard to yours, mm. you know, me sometimes being behind the scene, I just want to sincerely thank each and every yes. one of you guys. Each yes. one of you play yes. a part in our vision, mm. and we appreciate that. Yes, indeed. And I think for, for me, it was really the first chance or at kind of presenting and really learning, mm. and I learned so much from you guys, and I want to kind of acknowledge and appreciate and, and give thanks for that. Mm. Um, but when we start touching on topics around how communities mm. engage, mm. and we start looking at the impacts of things like music, and we start looking at things like fatherhood, mm we start opening up conversations right. in the community that right. hasn't really been been had. Hmm. And as I say, the, the fatherhood conversation was something that really did st stick with me because I'm not a father. So t to have insights into something that I have no direct experience of hmm. was phenomenal. Wow. And I think as communities are able to engage with things that they don't normally engage with. Mm. You know, we, we've had feedback from people that wouldn't normally look at mm. spiritual shows. Yes, they yes. wouldn't look at things around fatherhood. Mm. They wouldn't look at things around entertainment in the way that we looked at yes. it. Yeah. So the broader and widening knowledge that has been shared mm across the, the, the campaign has been phenomenal. Mm. And I think that's probably my biggest highlight is that sense that we've actually impacted wider yes. than the actual topics that have gone out. And if I may, <clears throat> I love the way you handled that show. I love the way you presented oh, it. I love the questions. Yes. Well done. Um, my apology. I I've yet to update you in response to the gentleman that you interviewed. Yes. Um, he said you conducted the show quite professionally. Um, oh. He loved being on the show yes, and indeed. his organization. He said that if we're ready, we can go and whenever they're having their meetings, you know, he welcomed us to the community hmm. into his involvement as well. So he was quite appreciative. And he said he's happy to support the show. Yes, and the way you handled it, kudos to you. Well oh, done. brilliant. Because, you know, most of these guests that have been on the show, they're actually in touch with not just ourselves, but to the station as well. Yeah. And uh, they actually been wishing they want to come back on. And, and I think the only challenge is the COVID-19 phase two. Yeah. 
but it's really I'm really excited that we're in contact with all of these guests that are coming on the show. They're willing to come and support us again and again because they see the benefit of Give Love, Show Love. And, and you know? also, you know, it's not just, you know, their response. Mm. It's the fact that they see what we're about yes. and also they see that we're willing to engage with their organization, That's right. what they're about, mm. you know. Coming on this show is not just to promote their organization. We want to know about their organization, but most importantly, we want them to envision what we have envisioned. So I think it's quite a nice cooperation of switching out to this organization, mm. these charities. Yeah, yes indeed. Well, and I, th I think the, the majority of people that have followed the shows week after week will, will endorse that same sense and that yeah. feeling. Yeah. And, and that's, that is kudos to everyone that's been involved, both front of camera, behind the scenes, and out in the community yes. that, that has, has reached out and engaged and been supported by Give Love, Show Love. Mm. One of the things that I, I wanted to kind of give the audience almost a kind of glimpse behind the curtain, yes. as, as it were, yeah. is the journey. Yes. And as, as you pointed out, Richard, the whole birth of Give Love, Show Love started with individuals. That's right who all had different outlooks, mm. different shows, mm. dif different agendas, all coming together. Mm. Let's give the audience mm. a sense of what that was like right at the very beginning. I'll hand over to you. <laughs> <laughs> this also happens in meetings, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, how we interact with each other, yes, indeed. we like to have fun. It's yeah. not just when we get in front of the camera, but you can see the vibe. Yes, so indeed. some yes, things indeed. you just cannot pretend. No. <laughs> so we do no, like to have fun and absolutely. we interact. But, um, well, thank you for passing me. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all business owners. Yes. We're all working individuals and we all have our own responsibilities outside of Amaze Studios. Mm -hmm. But the main important thing was us coming together, you know, to say, you know what? They are in need, the community is in need. Mm -hmm. You understand? And us giving our time, you know, I forgot what your question was. <laughs> but I <laughs> This also happens in the <laughs> It does happen as well. <laughs> no, but... I mean, the, when we all came together, yes. and it was clear that the communities were not going to be able to rely on the traditional support systems that yeah. were in place because COVID was starting to take hold, there was a collective sense that something had to be done, but nobody mm. knew what. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that, there was no template mm -hmm. for, for give love, mm -hmm. show love. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing is, we do understand, you know, there, there was no proper structure. There was structure put in place by the government, mm -hmm. but there was no proper structure. So what we, at Give Love, Show Love, Amaze TV, you know, all of us, is the fact that we kind of figure, okay, being that we cannot physically go out there, we can utilize what we have to support. So there is the Youth Empowerment Program. Yes. We are working on a program as well where we can educate the youths through media, mm -hmm. through um, the psychological business, through mental health, yes. through all these different aspects. So we do, on, go ahead, I see you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking as you're talking, mm -hmm. we saw the community hurting. And I think that was something that a lot of people missed at the very beginning mm -hmm. of, of the pandemic, was systems put in place for businesses, biz things put in place for employees. Yes. Very little was able then, because time was of the essence. Mm. So community lost out on an awful lot of things that it would normally rely on. Yeah. and. When we came together, 
And it was, I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen, it was not an easy set of conversations yes. <laughs> to be able to pull everything together and to find a way in which the community could tap into a different kind of support system that hadn't been there before. Mm. But within a few weeks, we were ready for a launch. Oh, yes. And Unisa. I'm going to leave this one with you. <laughs> well, thank you for always throwing me in the water. <laughs> I think these two sometimes tag to me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but that's the thing about the good, about give love, show love. We yes. have that love. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Now, anything in order for it to work, there has to be structure. Yes. You know, you cannot, there, when we get together, there's no, oh, he's in a, he has a higher title or he's a better person. No, we're all equal. We're always willing to listen to each other. That's right. Don't get me wrong. There were times we would argue our meetings would go longer than expected. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. The camera's not showing you for that. Oh, they saw the thing. They saw. They saw. You know, but, but we found a way to put it together. Richard is very skilled at what he does. You are very skilled at what you do. So I'm skilled at what I do. So when we come together, yes, we put it together in a fast pace. Mm -hmm. But look at the fruit of it now. That's right, yeah. yeah. You know, we have people that a lot of people said they're not going to get involved, willing to reach out. So there's nothing that is impossible. You yourself can get involved. You yourself can support this organization. Yes. You know, we we want you to be a part of this organization. We are seeking for support. We need your support. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. we need organizations to reach out to us mm -hmm. and see how we can all work together. Yes. They say there's a saying in Africa, mm -hmm. you know, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. If we come together, the force that we can create will be tremendous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us work together. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can remember right at the very beginning, I think probably maybe a week and a half before the launch, mm. and people in the community were saying, what you're trying to do is impossible. And every single one of us around the room, almost bar none, quoted Nelson Mandela. Mm. Everything is impossible until Something. it's Something. done. And we, we got to the launch, the launch went out. I've got to say, I absolutely loved how that went. Yes. And I know from the feedback from the community around the studio, mm. that was one of the, the big marker points for them to see that actually something was happening that everywhere else wasn't. Mm. And those normal support systems were starting to struggle and amaze TV and all of our partners. And I want to say thank you to all yes. of the partners yes. that are involved and yes. supporting yes. Um, give love show love massive thank you to all of you and the teams that you have involved but we can't do anything without the support of the community mm. we can't do anything without the support of those local businesses that are donating and supporting the campaign and the individuals that are supporting and donating yes. so please while you are watching Now's the time to get your credit cards out. Yes, indeed. Keep donating. Through December, we will be showing all of the shows again, so you can keep up to speed with what's happened already. Yeah. And we're going to, to have one or two shows go out live between now and the end of the year, just to keep people updated. But we really need you to get involved. We really need you to carry on supporting and carry on donating. And you can get in touch with us to be involved and to receive support. Hmm. If you are in a community organization that is struggling because of COVID or just because you're not able to access other support mechanisms, get in touch. If we can't help you directly, we might be able to direct you to places where you can get that extra support. Mm. So, I have 
a question that was put to me probably about a week or so ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is the biggest hope for Give Love, Show Love in 2021? Now, um, actually, I had discussed that on one of my programs. And I mentioned that because of the challenge of COVID-19, as we mentioned, we could not approach the community. But I mentioned on my, one of my programs, I believe it was, I'm not sure if it's Father Wood or our guest Shane Booth, all the way from, I believe, North Man- of England. Manchester. Manchester. I mean, look at the way uh, some of our guests are coming from. He's watching. Yes, in this. Shane Booth, oh my goodness. Uh, I know we had technical challenges on the show, but my goodness, that show was powerful. Uh, I was inspired uh, by, your, you know, by your courage to come on the show uh, amidst all the challenges we had. So I know you're watching. God bless you. Thank you so much. And we look forward for you to come. So as I was saying, in one of the show, I mentioned that I want to see a youth center for the youth. Why not? And by the way, the Give Love, Show Love also, one of its fruits is the Youth Empowerment Show. That's a direct uh, result of the Give Love, Show Love. D- uh, not only do we have that show, we also have uh, key people that came to help us in the studio. Uh, I remember when we done the launch, also when we were doing the, the promo, there were staff members that came and volunteered to help us. Some, some of us, uh, some of us uh, um, came to do the cameras, some even up to now there was one that came to join the the youth uh, the youth empowerment so you can see the the results of what give love show love but i want to see a youth center i want to see centers that can bring um you know a one-stop shop for single moms to get you know back into work in 2021 i pray that the COVID 19 would not restrict it but to enable give love show love to really extend that love to the community in a physical way Amen. that's my wish cool <clears throat> my wish, my expectations, and my hopes mm. for the gift of sugar. I admire our communities worldwide. Yes. My thing is that I hope that people out there can try to reciprocate what it is that we're trying to do mm. to help the community. Mm. You cannot help everyone. You understand? You know you, know I, know these organizations. Mm. There are other communities that I need that we cannot help. Mm. So my hope is that people out there can say, I like what this charity, what this company, what these people are doing, what they stand for. Let's you know try to do the same thing. Yeah. And it's possible. Mm. The love that you have in you you can reciprocate that love. Mm. So that is all I have. Mm. Mm. I, I, I love the fact that in such a short period of time, not only have we been able to show something that the community around us felt was impossible, mm. and we've done it, we've been able to showcase how it's possible not just that it is Mm. and that replication of what it is that we've been able to do has started to bleed out yes we've got more shows that um have been born from give love show love that's right so the youth empowerment that is growing at an exponential rate i mean those guys are doing amazingly well and this is a part of our communities that for a lot of people has felt as though they've been abandoned, left behind because they're not old enough to engage with the grown-ups. And these guys are leading the charge Mm. at saying, actually, we are established, we are here, we have potential and we can contribute. Mm. And they're doing a phenomenal job. And I want to say an amazing congratulations to everyone involved in that show. But Amaze TV is also growing strength yes, to strength yes, as a result yes, indeed. of Give Love, Show Love. It's the, the entire growth of this is phenomenal. Yes. And the journey is only just really beginning. Yes. May I say something? Yes. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we had a show. 
where we decided to give everybody a thousand pounds. Remember that show? Yeah. Now, it did hurt the pocket. <laughs> 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 we have to be honest. You know, if you're not but honest, it was, then, yeah. it was early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the thing is that we decided to give a thousand pounds to people that were giving money mm-hmm. because we know people are struggling. Mm-hmm. If you have the heart to say, well, I have one pound, but I'm willing to give 20 pi- 25 pence out of my one pound, mm-hmm. you understand? It's appreciated. That's right. We all struggle. Mm-hmm. And the monies that were given was were not taken from the charity. Mm-hmm. was given out of us. You understand? Yeah. So all I'm saying is support somebody, and God will bless you when you're not expecting that blessing. People are struggling. People are going through so much, but people are always, there are people out there that have the heart that are always willing to help. Help us to help somebody, Mm. and you never know how God is going to bless you. And you know the saying, Mm. if you don't receive your blessing, your children or your children's children will receive that blessing. Wow. I'm out of pocket. (laughs) <laughs> but it's great to see it you is. know that, that an amount of you see give love show love has no depth you know mm. because one can ask as you mentioned that it, it was hurting the pocket but if you look at in the sense of giving love and showing love a thousand pounds is nothing yeah mm. it's, there's a lot of people that have lost their jobs in the time of this pandemic uh so kudos to you for the you know for the maze tv to Come with the concept of giving love and showing love, and you know, throwing a thousand pound to the, you know, to whosoever that needed. And we were receiving emails, exactly. You know, feedbacks and phone calls. Yes, indeed. And phone calls <laughs> after phone calls. <laughs> the, the 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 money that was given out was given to people that had already donated. Yes. And was not only a a golden thank you. Mm. But it was also a way of allowing them to continue giving mm. without hurting their own pocket. Yes. And that meant more other su- amounts of support were, were able to happen. And more community organizations were able to benefit mm. rather than one or two, seven or eight were, were being helped. And that's a phenomenal um, achievement. And, and, and I think part of the legacy of Give Love, Show Love is that growth of donation. Mm. Um, May I say something? I do know, I know which is like, this guy is talking just like during the meeting. <laughs> during the meetings, he's always talking. But I just want to acknowledge Rosalind Young. She said, pass it forward, give without sticking to gain an immediate return. Kindness could be Kindness could be made the difference between life and death for someone. Rose, thank you so much, thank you. and and thank you for for joining us. Um, I I think Rosie's spot on. Hmm. We never know what that difference is going to be in somebody's life at the moment that they get it. Yes, indeed. But they may not know the benefit at the moment that they get it either. Hmm. And that's something that I think when you had the conversation with Shane, yes. it was very clear mm. that the benefits come after yeah. in some cases. Mm. And you know, Shane, again, kudos yes. to, to you for, for all of your achievements um, and putting up with the technological. And the topic we had with Shane was decision determine destiny. Uh, so remember when we started this, I believe it's a decision that we took to say, look, we want to make a difference. Because you see, it's easy to, to say, you guys do it, or this, you know, this borough do it. But it's hard to say, look, we want to make the change. And I was so excited. to said, we decided that we want to make a difference. And the viewers also decided they want to be part of this Give Love, Show Love. It's so encouraging to see... Um, not just the Amaze TV uh, crew, but the individuals out there, businesses. Uh, we had the worshipful mayors that are coming on the show. They took the decision to say, look, it's not just good talking about it. We want to come and make an impact. We want to come and make a difference and show our support yeah. to this Give Love, Show Love. Yeah. I mean, 
I'm super excited, and I know that 2021, the sky's the limit. I'm telling you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and, you know? Yeah, we, we started out with a phrase in, in some of the first set of meetings. Yes. Make a change that makes a difference. That's it. And the, the whole point of Give Love, Show Love, at a time where the standard support had was falling away and was likely not to come back very quickly, mm. was the sense of if we don't do this for ourselves, mm. if individuals and communities aren't able to, to mobilize and activate their own potential, mm. then no one is going to be there to do it for us. Mm. We had to take hold of it ourselves. And that was very much making a change. Now, we could have changed by repeating what has been done. Or we could do something differently. And I think what Give Love, Show Love has done, more than anything else, is show that a difference makes a change, not a change makes a difference. And anything you put your mind to is achievable. The youth, someone is watching there, whatever you put your mind to can work. There's families there that need to experience that give love, show love. And I mentioned this in, uh, in one of my programs, give the fatherhood. So you can achieve it. You can achieve that happiness. You can achieve that business. You can start that business. Amidst all these challenges of the COVID-19, if you can make up your mind, you can achieve anything you put your mind to it. And yeah. that's exactly what we have achieved. Yeah. And this actually, as you have mentioned, clearly mentioned, the Give Love, Show Love has brought fruits, not just the youth empowerment, but there's other various things coming out on the pipeline. And the viewers, you have to keep on tuning in to see exactly <laughs> what is coming out from Amaze TV. I promise you, it's going to be super exciting. <laughs> you know why I believe in this youth? Yes. And you said, if you believe it, you can achieve it. That's right. And you stated the same thing. Growing up, I was the most mischievous little guy you can ever want to meet. You were growing up? You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was the most mischievous guy you want to meet. And the way I was running up and down the streets, many thought I was never going to be here to date. But I believe, well, my family believed in me. The community believed in me where they had a youth center where we go play basketball, table tennis, you know, all these table different kinds of games. And majority of these centers are gone. The youths don't have anything anymore out there to support them. So they're just running wild on the street. I'm not saying all the youths. Listen, I believe each and every one of us have that entrepreneurial spirit in us. Yes. There's nothing that one cannot achieve. And I will a thesis in reference to self-belief. Mm -hmm. I believe in affirmations, and we spoke about that. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in the words that you say. And there's a saying that words are very powerful. Hmm. If you say something, you mean it, it will come back to you. Yeah. So it's all about self-belief. There's nothing that is impossible. We can believe it. We can believe and achieve whatever we put our mind to. And you're actually mentioning one of my topics again, the winner's mentality. When we had one of our ministers, Kevin Treasure, and he, he's, a, he's the author of the books, he actually phoned me. He says, look, I want to support you guys. Can I come on the show and talk about the power of words? And you, as you clearly mentioned, words are very powerful. You know, uh, I'm, I'm from the faith side of it so you know on the on the scripture side like in proverbs 18 20, 20, say death and life are in the in the power of the tongue so is yes as, as shakespeare said yeah. pen is mightier than the sword mm. yes and we have seen how what has been written about communities mm. in the last year has been exceedingly powerful yes. at holding them back. Yes. And what Give Love, Show Love has done is undo some of that yeah. and taken those anchors away and given people potential to open up, to achieve, and to start to succeed again. Mm. Yeah, do you know what excites me about being on this platform with you guys? 
the fact that you're on this platform with us guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an amazing team, yeah. <laughs> no, but the mere fact that the Wells run in the streets, yeah. you understand, mm -hmm. and they had this community center that used to take us and keep us busy. Mm -hmm. But after that, I used to run the streets again. And people thought I was not going to be able to be alive to date. But with the belief and of the love and support of different people, mm -hmm. I'm here. I built two companies in America. And I, it, one was to support families. And here now. Mm -hmm. So what is a bad child? I was labeled as a bad child in school. But I was bringing good grades. That's right. I told you, I told you, didn't I? Uh, I told you, it's coming out now. We're finding the truth. Ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we really cannot do this work without you on board, without your support. Mm. And Hello, Sue. Hi, Sue. I don't know. I think he's, I think he's just waving at anybody. <laughs> To <laughs> <laughs> I think as as we move forward into 2021, mm. the the desire to see community centres being reactivated is probably the biggest thing that the campaign would like to see. And that's mm. what he wishes for. That's right. Yeah. And and I th and I think just as you said, right in your misspent youth. Having those centres there that you could go to. Yes, when you weren't there, you were running the street. But they had an impact. The benefit of it wasn't known at the time. But you l gained from that a sense of community, a sense of engagement, a sense of what was right and wrong that you're able to now use. Congratulations. Welcome okay. to the grown-up mm. world. And... <laughs> And this is the power of community. Absolutely. We cannot expect our young people to become contributing positive adults mm. if we don't give them the space to learn how to be. And if we allow negative influences to take over that space because it's not cost effective to have a youth centre, I might hasten to argue that actually you've put the money in the wrong place mm. because now you're spending more money picking up the pieces because you took the youth centres away. But getting back to that sense of a community hub, a place where the community can come together, can have its sense of identity mm. and engage with everybody, whatever faith, religion creed, orientation, choice of life, you have as an individual, you are valued within your community. Mm. And we, le we go from having single voices within our community mm. to having a choir within the community. Absolutely. And that for me into 2021 is the going to be the biggest achievement mm. that we could possibly hope for not just having somewhere for people to come together, mm. but what we do with it and how we utilise it for our communities. But we can't do anything without you guys making those donations. Mm. Absolutely. And you know, every time we made the decision to do the Give Love, Show Love, there's always been challenges. No one predicted that COVID-19 was coming. So at times in life, you're going to face challenges, just like you know when you were growing up. There was a lot of perhaps prayer pressure or the wrong kind of choice of friends, you, you name it. So you're going to always have challenges in life. Mm. Uh, now we're making, we, we know, we are saying that we want to do, we want to achieve this in 2021. We don't know what 2021 is going to, you know, but no. what we're saying, we have decided that n come rain or shine, we want to continue to give love. We want to give love amidst the challenges, whether, you know, I pray that there's no more lockdown, but whatever the case, we want to go forward and give love and show love, rain or shine. Yeah. Mm. You see, <clears throat> from my whole perspective, financially, mm. I do understand 
a lot of people have lost their jobs. Yes. But let's put into consideration, you go home at night, you have a nice warm bed. Hmm. You, I, and many of us. But let's think about the youths out yes. there yeah. that are not. Hmm. And as you stated, you know, our expectations of 2021, our aims, our goals, our achievements. Mm -hmm. We have so many plans put in place. Five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 100,000. Support us. Mm. No, it's and a drop what it the is that <laughs> and, and our books, I've always stated this, we have open books. Yes. You have access to our books. Mm. Help our vision and see what we're about. The love that you have Give. Give love, show love. Mm. Help us help those that are in need. Yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed a chance to have some banter and have some smiles and share some of the highlights along the way. Yes, indeed. I, I certainly enjoyed being in between the pair of you once again. It's, it's been great. So thank you very much for your time. I have a question. Here we go. Which is? It's not scripted. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because I was about to, I was about to wrap up and go. Hey guys, have a great <laughs> evening. But Eunice has got a question, so we, we'll let Eunice ask his question. Yes, indeed. Now, with everything that is going on, mm. okay. Yes. Now you spoke about your expectations, your yes. hopes, what it is that you want to achieve. Yes, indeed. Right. What do you think, or how do you think, the communities, the people that are out there want to get involved, how do you personally think that they can involve themselves in this movement, as David has stated prior? Mm. That's a good question, actually. And we've always been emphasizing on the show. You see, the, the title gives it all. Give love, show love. Now, what is love? God is love. If I want something f for you, I must demonstrate it. So how can the community, how can businesses, how can NGOs, how can churches be part of this? Number one, you can, and this is also, we have always been showing this on the, on the program, you can donate. You can donate your money. You can donate your time. You can give us ideas. Um, of how to run with this vision because you see we came together in this give love show love because of the ideas each of us came you know to put together so the same way we are offering this same uh, uh, position to the to the viewers say look we want you to come on the show and share your ideas how can we achieve this how can there are some viewers out there they're experts in when it comes to youth mm -hmm. they are more trained to deal with youth there are people like I had one of my guests. Uh, he's, he's a bishop, Bishop Richard O'Dodge, my namesake. Now he he was uh, uh, he was sharing love, give love, show love to huge number of hundreds uh, of people in Africa. So he came to share his concept of how we can demonstrate give love, show, and we appreciate such individual. So we want to encourage anybody out there. You can donate your money. But not only that, you can, uh, uh, you can share your ideas to us. How can we achieve this? Now, we have mentioned that uh, we want to build a, a youth hub where single moms can come and revamp their CV, re revamp their typing skills and so that they can go back to the job. We want to make this possible. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to those things. We need somebody to come and share their ideas. I believe if we all can put our heads together, we can achieve the greatest thing that would make history mm. on the face of this world. Thank you. Yes, indeed. I love that. David, I just have a question for you as well. I, I knew this was coming. Come on. It's not <laughs> By the way, he's the chairman, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's <laughs> why I'm he's, saying... He's turning everything yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Chairman. The passion that you have... Mm -hmm. How can you, how do you think 
you can get the community involved. How can you, what message can you convey unto the community for them to get involved? How can you do an outreach? Okay, so a lot of our communities, not just here in the UK, but around the world, have experienced grief and trauma yes. in a way that they have never had to experience in the past. Mm. Never. And not only that that grief and trauma may affect them directly, but it affects people around them. Yes. And that is, again, a huge burden to carry. Yes. And for a lot of people, the pandemic has become like a heavy overcoat that you just cannot wear without crumbling. And what I would say is the best way I can show give love and show love is through helping people understand that that burden that they carry, they do not have to carry on their own. The trauma that you faced, the experiences that you've had, you do not have to carry that on your own. There are support systems and part of the, the campaign is to access those support systems so people can get that help mm -hmm. as and when they need it. But nor is it your fault that you are facing those traumas. Mm -hmm. This is something that you cannot c take on as your burden. Mm -hmm. You are experiencing it. It is not who you are. You do not become the movie star of a movie you watch because you watched it. You are not the trauma that the world has thrown at you. Removing that from people removes a huge weight mm. and allows them to engage yeah. and go, actually, we can achieve. We have all had, and I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up on this, because I, I, I can talk about trauma and the passion for un unpacking it all day long. But we have all got a 100% survival rate. Mm. Every single one of us at the end of every day that is still here, our survival rate against our trauma is 100%. Yes. Let's focus on the 100% of our successes and hold on to the fact that tomorrow we'll have 100% success again and the day after that and the day after that. And we do everything we can to keep that 100% success rate. Absolutely. Agreed. So, on that, ladies and gentlemen, I will bid you all a very good evening. Thank you very much, Richard. And also, just before you close, you <laughs> see, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to wrap up the show, but there's so much we can still get. No, just as a final thought, um, most of the shows, again, I know you're going to mention as well. We're going to be running them again on December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this, the reason I mentioned December is December is is a festive season. Mm -hmm. If there's any opportunity to give love and show love, the climax of it all, I believe, is December. Mm -hmm. Now, why is that? Year after year, there are so many families that they feel they're left out. There are so many families, um, single parents they feel that they're left out in this festive season. There are children, there are young adults, they feel that they're left out. So I believe this December, the festive season, is a month that we can see, you know, a very a, a, a imbalanced situation because this is a month where we need to demonstrate, give love, show love. We have a lot of homeless people out there. And I pray that similar organizations like us to come forth and demonstrate, give love, to show love to the community. Because this is not just exclusive just to us. Mm -hmm. We want to um, you know, encourage other individuals, other NGOs to emulate this give love, show love, so that together we can you know, show love, especially a time of Christmas. And I, had, I just had, I felt that I had to mention that because uh, a lot of people can feel so lonely at Christmas time. Do you know, he's taking the words out of my mouth again. <laughs> <laughs>
Somebody take word out. Uh, yeah. So uh, which one did they take the first one? Yeah, yeah, well, what did they yeah, take on the first yeah, time? Yeah, you know, it's, it's done again. Guys, I want to say a massive minute, thank you. No, 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 no. two minutes, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I love what Richard said. Yes. In reference to December. When the pandemic started, what we used to do, we have the receipts, we keep the receipts. Yes. We spent so much money because there were a lot of elderly who were not going around knocking on door or knocking on doors or the government was given foods to. Mm. So we were given foods to a lot of these mm -hmm. elderly. We would go to home. Well we know what we did is that we write notes. Yes. And we put under the door for them to contact us. Yes. And we build that communication. We let them know somebody's gonna bring food at for you at so and so time. Mm -hmm. We go shopping and also we tell them wipe the food off. You know, because they're all in bags. We mm. don't just bring you, they're all in the yes, bag. Yes. We'll bring to you, please wipe the food, mm. open the bag, and then the following week we'll do it again. Mm. This is all a part of give love, show love. People are going through so much. Yes. You know, during this pandemic, now during the holidays. Let's come together and make a difference. That's what we're all about. And we also take anybody that want to donate turkeys to Amaze TV. This is give love, show love. Yeah. With I'm sure you're going to accept that, yes? Oh, bring it to my house. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you my address right there. <laughs> La ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank yes, you for do. being with us. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I yes. hope you've enjoyed the laughter. <laughs> we certainly have. Yes, indeed. Even if it's taken a bit longer to wrap up the show. Yes, indeed. Because our guys want to carry on chatting <laughs> to you guys. But have a great week. Enjoy yes, the reruns yes. over the the Christmas period yes. and we will see you again very very soon keep donating we need your help but for now have a great week bye bye thanks support us yes indeed and they're still going <laughs> gentlemen Amaze TV is here to restore, rebuild, revive the nation. We can never appreciate the hardship that creates a feeling of having nothing, but we can create the change that makes a difference. Join us, and together we can have an impact. It's time for us to change the narrative and extend our humanity to the entire world. Love is kind, it is not self-seeking. Let us extend our love and kindness in the best possible way we can. Freely you have received the love of God. Freely give back to society. Extend a blessing to someone out there. One can chase a thousand, but two can chase 10,000. We believe in our communities and we believe in our youths. Let's work together and make a difference. Our world needs you to be a part of a revolutionary change. United we stand, divided we fall. Give love, show love. Hashtag give love, show love.